Hello everyone, we are doing the first trip of the year to the Florida Keys. It's gonna be a short one, just a couple of days. Probably we're not gonna be doing much, but anyway, we wanna bring you along for the ride. Won't stop for traffic lights. And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know. If I let me figure out where the road goes. Minus. If Apollo sees you, buddy, you're gonna have to run. Where do you wanna win, Venus? How dare you say that you don't trust them with the water? Jumping from cliffs so high, trusting our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down. Finally, we are getting good weather. We are in between the 60s and 50s. So I want to be outside with Venus and Apollo, read a little bit of my book. Right now, I'm reading Powerless by Lauren Roberts. I'm not sure 100% this is going to be the greatest book of the year, but so far it's not terrible. Well, I think it's time to stop reading since Venus decided it was time to lay on my book. I didn't put him there, he just got there by himself.
He's already melting my heart. We are on our way to the vet and he's screaming bloody murder. And I feel so bad, I wanna take him out. Uh, but I can't, I need to let him scream. He need to get used to, to traveling on his backpack. Especially the, I would like to take him on planes and stuff like that. So I'm gonna let him cry for maybe five, 10 minutes. The vet is right around the corner. And then I will take him out for probably 20 minutes and put him back again for another 20 minutes until he stopped crying and start getting used to. I feel so bad. But this is part of training, sadly. It took 13 minutes to get from the house to the vet and finally he stopped crying but it broke my heart for how long he cried. I know this is the hard part of training how much he's gonna don't like to do things and how much he's gonna cry and especially that I want him to travel with me he need to get used to to be in a carrier but it was hard hear him cry for almost like 10 minutes straight it broke my heart now we're going to the vet to do his checkup part of the contract from the breather was the he need to be checked up in the first five days and also I want to microchip to him in case we lost him somewhere. Not gonna lie, I almost have a heart attack when I saw the size of the needle for the microchip, but he did so good, he didn't even cry. This is the food that he brought from the breeder, or Royal Canin. This was the same food I give Shrek when he was a puppy. So I'm used to, to this formula for puppies. But I want to start introducing him to him home cooked food. Like it doesn't have any salt or anything. It's just chicken with vegetables. It's pretty much the same thing I give Shrek when he was an adult. You guys know I'm not a huge fan of kibble. Venus and Apollo eat raw and my Yorkies, I cook for them. A question that we have been getting over in Instagram is how Venus and Apollo are doing with the puppy and for the most part they ignore him inside the house when we have him in the bed or with us. Uh, they do want to play with him when he's in the floor running so I don't let them. I'm scared that they will step on him and crush him by mistake. I'm hoping in a couple of weeks I finally let them play together but I want him to be a little bigger and a little more used to the house, used to, to see Venus and Apollo. So let's see how that goes. But for now I will leave you with a little montage of baby Bowser playing with his toys and looking extremely cute. Thank you for watching, see you in the next one. Bye!